to good morning all welcome along back with rb out and the final test ride of this the lex moto aura i'm just down to put the last set of ride mileage on this one so rather than stop at the local uh, garden center to do the shoot from there we're just out on the urban route for the moment and just clocking up the final few miles on this at 40 mile an hour and it's a very dark, cold and damp morning this morning but I do like the way that uh, backlit display very very bright and easy to see all those dials and gauges in front of you outside temperature 20 degrees F it's about 4 or 5 degrees C it is freezing this morning but it needs must outright testing this one And if you've seen the first video on this Aura, did like this bike. Now we have had comments that the keyless ignition, a little bit quirky. What happens if it fails? So I'll tell you a little bit about this keyless ignition. From actually pressing the button on the uh, key fob, you get five seconds to click any function. So you can go into seat unlock mode, tank mode. You can lock the bike, you can put it into full ignition mode and light it all up. Now should the battery fail there is a hard wired point actually built into the bike and it is under the right hand panel so all you do is pop that out put a uh, boost box onto it or put a 12 volt charge into it that will give you access to unlock it everything up so you can get into the bike that way for unlocking the seat you do get two key fobs with this one so there shouldn't be an issue with uh, having your key go wrong but obviously being a new bike and the long term longevity test on that keyless ignition has not been done yet but works every time for me and I do like keyless ignition on bikes I do like the old key styles for the older bikes but you'll find a lot of the uh, new Triumphs a lot of the new BMW, especially the GS series, are all keyless ignition and a lot of the uh, Ducatis are now going keyless ignition. So much easier, put your keys in your pocket, forget about it, get on the bike, hit the button, away you go. Obviously if you're an old school and you like a keyed ignition, that's good. But obviously over time, ignition barrels do tend to degrade a little bit, get a little bit sticky unless you keep them oiled and then you are going to get your issues with your original key so you're going to get problems with any bike whether it's keyless or keyed ignition but obviously for longevity we shall see how this one goes and we shall be asking the customer over the next six months to a year how his keyless ignition is going I don't see a problem with keyless ignitions but obviously there's the old school people that oh, wouldn't touch that, it's electronic, it's going to go wrong so each to their own but we shall see what this thing does over time as for riding on this, this bike is so comfortable. Now obviously people have said, is this going to replace the Chieftain? I do not know. And I'm not going to assume anything on that until I am told by Lex Motor. But I know the Chieftains are very, very hard to get hold of at the moment. We haven't had customers asking about the Chieftains. And you can't get them for love or for money. So we shall find out what is happening but obviously the Chieftain is a very very big maxi scooter and obviously the Aura is as well but personal opinions I prefer the Aura to the Chieftain it's a little bit more nimble round the roundabouts a little bit lighter handles a hell of a lot better and it is very very easy just to throw this around and the actual seating position comfort position on this new Aura is absolutely superb Bar placement is very, very good. Hands at mid level. You're going to get no ache on the arms or the wrists. And I do like the way that uh, rider's seat has the little uh, panel around the back of it just to tuck you in against the back of the seat, which is what I do like. But this one is absolutely superb. Absolutely love this. And it is a very, very nice scooter to ride. 
braking on it is absolutely superb mirrors are spot on perfect just where you want them and it's a very very good ample view of the road behind on these mirrors so all round absolutely fantastic bike and especially with all those functions in front of you you've got your fuel you've got your battery charge miles an hour mileage at the bottom rev counter is on the right hand side and you do get that extra clock to the left that tells you your speed as well but it does ride absolutely superb loving riding one of these and obviously I'm not a scooter lover but I do like the Titans I love this aura and from the off it just literally pulls really really quickly from the off as well so it gets up to speed very very quickly obviously for the purposes of ride testing I'm taking my time getting it up to speed nice and slow on the revs and as I bang on about in every video and there are a lot of comments on the uh, Lex Motor Owners page official and Lex Motor Owners UK what should we actually be doing on ride testing 40 mile an hour first 500 K 311 miles service then you can do 50 and that takes you up to 1500 K 932 miles once you've had a second service you are good to go to full speed stick to what Lex Moto tell you that's on the paperwork that is what they're stating don't listen to the twaddle that other dealers are saying oh you can go straight up to full speed blah 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 all you're going to be doing is cooking your piston so I would say stick to what you are told it's in your handbook it's in your manual it's in all the paperwork that's given to you stick to what you're told by Lex Moto slap on the wrist if you don't what we're going to do now quick flip down the dual carriageway we've done a little bit of urban we so we've done the reverse route today we're going to go back down the dual carriageway one quick flip down the dual carriageway back in onto the urban route and then job is a good one 23 miles on the bike and a quick shoulder check for pull out into traffic very easy to see these indicators now the only thing I did find obviously that's only got uh, the one indicator light that just tells you which one is on I would have preferred a left and a right one but you can see your indicators are on if you press right you know you're going right press left you know you're going left all you need is a visual indication to say got an indicator on and a lot of bikers do forget to cancel their indicators I do quite a few times but as for the display on this, can't fault it, absolutely perfect. And obviously new stock of these auras is coming soon. And we are awaiting some more to come in. But if you have got your mind set on one of these, as we always say with any bike, they are in high demand at the moment. So phone your local dealer get what is called a pre-order in on the bike if you sit around waiting for one of these to come into stock you are not going to get one because everybody now is pre-ordering a bike putting the deposit down on it waiting for the bike to arrive and then paying the final balance once the bike arrives and then collecting it from the dealer and we have had people placing orders now since June July some of them into August bikes have all turned up but obviously those that have placed orders are going to get bikes we are getting people phoning up can I have one of these no they are not in stock did you want to place a deposit now wait for them to come in you're not going to get a bike simple as that only way you're going to get yourself a bike unless the dealer has got one sitting around spare is to get yourself a pre-order in and that is the only way that you're guaranteed to get a bike this year demand has outstripped the supply and obviously everything is taking its time to come out to out of China due to Covid and we do have a lot of Titans in stock at the moment so Titan is our biggest seller lots of Titans coming in 
have got coming in some iskers, some assaults. Michigans are on order again, and I am managing to sell bikes quicker than I can get them in at the moment. Everyone is placing pre orders and deposits on them, but good for those customers because at least they're guaranteed a bike. So, lots of ride tests coming up over the next few weeks. 25 miles in now on this one obviously we've done a little bit of extra ride testing on this one I normally do about 20 I wanted to get out and do a, a few more miles on this just do a final video on this aura just to see what she's like and I am absolutely loving it gorgeous little scooter and you can't fault this aura absolutely perfect so what we're asking you to do if you have got any comments, leave them in the video below. Let us know what you think. And um, we'd also like to hear the negatives as well. So if you bought a bike, let us know what you think. How's the local dealer been for you? Did they do everything you wanted to? If you've had a warranty, has your warranty been sorted on time? Did they manage to get the bits or were parts on back order? I'd love to know everybody's comments and what they think on the Lexmodo range. I absolutely love the Lexmodo range and obviously I'm very very impartial about my views. I did say on the first ride test of this I'd like to see a rear carrier for a top box. I'd like a slightly bigger screen on the front of this. That little screen doesn't deflect a lot of wind. I do get uh, a lot of wind in the face when you are riding one of these but then again the Titan doesn't have a much of a screen either so each to their own but uh, I know that Lexmoto are looking into an aftermarket screen on one of these it's clever overtaking on the brow of a hill and I know they are working on a top box carrier for this so it is something that they have picked up on my videos and they have said to me that we are looking into doing aftermarket extras on one of these which is great nice to see that Lexmoto are keeping an eye on my page and uh, obviously I do give the negatives as well as the positives especially things like tyres as well so tyres on this very very good grip the road that's cold morning but no issues off these tyres whatsoever so as always guys social media is all over my page if the easiest way to find it you can find the guys that Eclipse on Facebook look for Eclipse Motorcycles, look for the picture of the scooter and the Mini or the two Royal Alloys or you can give them a call 01908 643603 or the easiest way I tell everybody to do is to go to my website which is revbomb.co.uk Eclipse Motorcycles on the bottom of the first page, the intro page all the links to the website for them are there for the Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk. All the links are on the first page. If you happen to like my social media, go on the social media page. There's the links to my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Also got the merch shop in there. If you are after one of the RB t shirts, they are almost sold out. The next batch has been ordered of 40, but we are selling t shirts buy the shed loads and obviously if you do want a t-shirt the price on the uh, merch shop is on there but if you did want one message me first I will give you the promo code and that will give you 10% off of any of my merch so if you did want any of that get a 10% off the merch but you will have to uh, drop me a message to uh, get yourself at 10% because the website does its own thing But until the next ride guys, this is Alex Moto Aura 125, having an absolute blast riding this thing, a really nice little bike. Until the next time, if you are riding this weekend, be well, ride safe, if you happen to be about up Super Sausage on the Sunday, which is going to probably, the video is probably going to go up this night tonight, which is Saturday night, but if you're about on the Sunday, See you up Super Sausage, and um, we are always up the Super Sausage on a Sunday. Pop up and see us, and until the next time, from RB on a very cold, dark morning, it's a big goodbye for me. <laughs>